Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're a little late to this party, but we're going to cover it. We're going to talk about the teenager who was uh, disqualified from a Pokemon card tournament for laughing nervously at a question about his pronouns. Allegedly. I have to give a hat tip to Cinder Shadow who sent it over. I did see his uh, Twitter handle come up, but I'm not on Twitter as much as I used to be, so I wasn't really sure what was going on. But yeah, this is, I mean, another case of, uh, you know, the pronoun thing being pushed. I talked about before that, uh, I think it was Geeks and Gamers covered it at the G.I. Joe convention, at a toy convention. Uh, Hasbro executives were forcing grown ass men to give their pronouns before they could ask questions about the G.I. Joe classified line. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry, guys, this is getting a little pushy. It's getting a little weird. And if that is the reason he was disqualified, it was wrong to uh, disqualify him. It, yeah, and we don't know that, but it's some of the comments made does sound like that is indeed the reason. Um, yeah, come on, this is a kid. Um, the kid who apparently who has had you know health issues in the past about like being suicidal and stuff, which just did not help. Um, it's just not, it's just not okay. I mean, we're talking about grown ass adults against a kid. Yeah, so you know, it's pretty bad when uh, Deserto comes out and it's kind of like, yeah, this was this was not good. This was not a good thing to do. We've got uh, esports websites covering it. Um, people have tried to say, like they're trying to smear him on Twitter saying that he cheated. That's why he was disqualified. Based on what? Uh, based on what they said. Based on based on <laughs> any reason other than the reason that's been given. Right, right. So let's let's talk about this. We're going to go into these articles and uh, you know talk about the uh, the GoFundMe that's been set up uh, to help him recoup his. Am I giving the right pronouns? Recoup yes, he said it was his his, his expenses uh, for this Pokemon <laughs> tournament. Um, and as a mom and teacher, I'm going to have words. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. So. Before you do it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Almost 300,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We have been covering tabletop gaming more than we used to because tabletop gaming, that whole scene is like ground zero for a lot of the Twitter nonsense. We've, we've seen more stuff like this, more incidents of stuff like this in uh, tabletop gaming, whether it's uh, D&D or Magic the Gathering and now Pokemon that there are a lot of people in this space that are pushing ideology and, uh, you know, it's pretty bad when they're made judges. And if you don't toe the line with their ideology, you get booted. Yeah. And there's some other things that happened a couple of weeks ago that sounds like they're really pushing this type of thing. Um, and they're trying to double down on being, you know, super, super extreme on the inclusivity stuff because of some other things happened with another judge. Um, but yeah, so basically what happened was, according to, to this person, was that he lost out eight hundred dollars in two flights and time off of school because he went to the Charlotte Pokemon Regionals. Okay, um, he was going to play against this other person, Alex Shemansky, yeah. who's one of the best players. Okay, and he was going to be on stream. Okay, right, right. so when the judge, he's there, he apparently wasn't asked the entire time what his pronouns were. Okay, then the judge comes over and asks what their pronouns are, and he was like caught off guard. And was like, uh, he, him was trying to remember the word his, apparently. And he couldn't remember his. He was just like kind of froze because he was really nervous. He's getting ready to go on stream. He's a kid. And there's a judge asking for his pronouns. Yeah. So let me stop right there. I'm actually going to An go adult off. was asking kids for their pronouns. Yes. yes. I'm going to go off on a tangent. Um, he got blindsided because why the fuck would he expect a judge to ask him a question like that? on a stream. It's a really kind of off the wall thing. Of course he got caught off I guard. Mean, I get you don't want to misgender somebody because you're on stream, but at the same time, when, why didn't they have, wouldn't they have had turn and paperwork would have that stuff on it beforehand that they would have that on hand to say what they identify as? Well, that gets better. Okay. So this judge, the reason, there's a reason the judge was asking. So when he, when he answered him, he couldn't remember the word his. So I guess he said he, him, and then laughed nervously and said his. Okay. Yeah. As a mom and a teacher who work with kids all the time, if you put on the spot, I mean, I do this, and I'm an adult. You put on the spot, they will laugh nervously or laugh at inappropriate things. People laugh at funerals for fuck's sake because they're they're so upset or out of, you know. Mary Tyler Moore, the entire episode, they were laughing at a funeral. Right, because they yeah. don't, you don't know how to yeah. you act and you don't know what to do. So sometimes people laugh out of nervousness or anxiety. This kid obviously has anxiety issues. And he laughed, okay? So then when the other per they asked the other guy, the other guy answered, no problem. And then when, when they went up again to get ready to start the stream, he, I guess, asked them again. He asked, I'm sorry, they, I'm, I'm sorry, the judge, they, them, okay? 
Ask them again. I don't want to mis, mis- uh, pronoun the judge. So- soon to be former judge, yes. But no, no, I think that they're doubling down. The, the judge asked again what the pronouns were. And again, he said he, him. And the judge was like basically saying, well, I use, I, I, I use they, them pronouns. Okay, I just want to check to be safe. I go by they, them. So don't be a jerk about it. Because oh. the kid, because the kid laughed. What? Some people this might blow people's fucking minds. Some people get, don't like being asked their pronouns. You know, you all want to go about, well, I want to be asked my pronouns because you lead with it. Cause don't you know, no one asks and you, and you have to make sure everybody asks you. Okay. You need a pin that says ask you about my pronouns. Anyway, some people just don't want to be put on the spot like that. And there are people that just don't want to be asked and they feel uncomfortable being asked. But why, but no one cares about their comfort level. It's only about you know, who cares about this child. It's about the judge. You know, because the judge identifies as they, them. Because it's a stage. It's being streamed. Mm-hmm. And we got a posture. Fuck that. You know, I'm just, I'm sorry. I mean, in this case, like, look, I've said before, uh, we have friends that consider themselves to be non-binary. I will respect your pronouns if you're no, not I, I don't, a yeah. dick, you know, but, right. but you're going to put somebody on the spot. You got to realize 99.9% of people identify as whatever they were born as, right? That's what they identify as. And and the outliers are the non-binary, the pronoun police, whatever. You ask somebody that question, put them on the spot like that. Yeah, you're going to get weird looks. Gonna, especially if, if it's a child. Especially a kid. They're going to be kid's like nervous. They're nervous. Enough. They're nervous enough. They're going to go compete. They're scared. And then you ask them that, and then they they and then they couldn't. He's like, I, I was panicked, and I and I, my, I know squeaking would have done by the same. Yeah, I mean, somebody like okay. So back to the the GI Joe thing, the Hasbro thing, right? Um, and again, I think it was Geeks and Gamers that covered. I think they were the only ones that actually covered that. I don't know if they had somebody there that was filming it or whatever, but. It was, it was a question about freaking G.I. Joe for army men figures, right? And most of the guys in the audience, 40, 50-year-old dudes that play with G.I. Joe and their kids, and a lot of them became military, mm-hmm. right? And you're going to go like, hey, everybody. And so it was a woman running this thing. She's like, okay, uh, there, Joe, what's, what What are your pronouns? I'd be like, what the fuck are you asking me that they for? They kind of caught off guard. And, the thing is, and well, what okay, the fuck does that have I, to do I mean, with the toys? The website is, you don't want to assume some of them might have, you know, might identify a different way. But you could just say, okay, if you want to tell me your pronouns, please do. You know, something like that. So you're not being made to do it. But you're more welcome to share if you want to. But in this case, I wanted to make sure they didn't want to mispronoun the person on the stream. Okay, I get that. But whatever. the first thing Squid King said I, was, whatever. wouldn't they, that's personal information, wouldn't they have had that on the paperwork that they turned in so they could look at the paperwork and say, oh, well, this person's the player. Here's some information about this person. They identify as, you know, why why put them on the spot on the way to the stand? To make a statement. I know. That's I know. And literally the thing it, is, to make a statement. Like this kid says, we're going to talk about what he says later. I am the same way. I'm like, I have no problem if you have pronouns you want to use or whatever. That's fine. I will try to respect your pronouns. Uh, that's fine by me. What I have a problem with is when you're trying to tell, you know, Tell me that that's all I can do. And, and then what happens to this kid? Because what happens to this kid is not fair. So after this person, he gets to the stage. Then apparently the uh, the head judge comes up uh, later and asks him what happened. Okay. Yeah. And he tells them, he's like, well, you know, said he's, well, the judge said that he believed that I had no bad intentions. It didn't matter because the other day someone was offended and upset. What about this kid? What if this kid was offended by you asking about their pronouns? You know, I'm so fucking tired of this. It's like everybody's so fucking offended of every fucking thing and it's getting ridiculous. This is a child. You're a fucking grown up. Act like it, you fucker. They're not grown ups. That's Sorry, the thing. Take the fucker. No, that's okay. That's that's your pronoun, fucking er. I'm um, like, this no, is bullshit. This, this is a child. This this is the thing, right? A lot of these people, a lot of these people are not mentally adults. And I'm sorry, if you if you're pressing a child and getting a child disqualified from a freaking Pokemon, Pokemon card tournament because your sensibilities are offended. You are not an adult. Well, you know, what if if someone shows up and they're dressed inappropriately and their dick's hanging out and I'm offended? Are you going to make them change their clothes? Are you going to be like, you know, they're going to, they're going to read, they're going to read stories at the one library in London with the monkey costume. Oh yeah. And he's way, way up in the slow. No. Or what if someone comes in and they're dressed inappropriately and and it's a woman and her boobs are out and nipples are sticking out. And what if you're a child and you feel uncomfortable, you're a person there and you feel uncomfortable. Um, you're not allowed to tell them. 
that that makes you feel uncomfortable. You'll be the one that gets canceled for it. But if you're uncomfortable because you're put on the spot and asked, you know, what your pronouns are by someone who is a pronoun police, then you're that that then they were uncomfortable. So it only matters about there's only one side that matters. A child's comfort level mattered less than a fucking adult who was a judge at this competition. And they flat out tell him that. They're adult. Pre- it's true. It's true. They're adult presenting. Again, they are not adults. They're, they're no, no plan are these people adults. Um, now here's Maybe the thing. They choose to not identify as an adult. Yeah, right. So here's, here's the thing that blows my mind. Like this is his, his, uh, competitor, this Alex, uh, Schmansky, And he kind of throws him out of the bus. This well, other of kid. Of course he does. Cause you know, he wants to yeah, keep, yeah. keep being the number one. This is probably a dangerous tweet for me. Should McConaughey have been disqualified? I don't think so. But rem- remember y'all. This isn't an excuse to attack inclusivity in people's identity. Also remember that judges are, by the rules, completely unable to share their side of things. Um, they, well, though, the, the, because there's comments that were made. Yeah, so, but even if he laughed, okay, if he laughed, that's so what? You asked him his pronouns, you caught him off guard, you, you, he wasn't expecting it, and it made him nervous and he nervous laughed. A lot of people do it. Either, either if he laughed and didn't and, and meant it, again, child, yeah. you're a fucking adult. Um, Deserto actually, which is bizarre because usually they're, they're completely on board with this. They're even kind of like, Hey, this isn't, uh, this isn't a good thing. Here's his GoFundMe. Um, he's up to like over $3,000 right now. I'm starting to get so mad, but I, as a mom, I'm just like, Oh, hell no. Uh, we've got esports.gg. They're actually taking this kid's side, Makani's side. You get to the bottom though. And they, they kind of use it as a reason to talk about judges, not, uh, making exceptions for people, you know, have disabilities or whatever. But it's, it's not the first time the staff at regionals have been called out for being inconsistent in their treatment of players. That sounds, yeah, it sounds interesting. like maybe Alex, maybe Alex is saying it because Alex was a favorite. So this comes after, um, apparently, yeah, this, this other judge in Canada was banned for harassing, banned for life for harassing transgender players. Now, apparently, um, you can go down, but from the article, what it sounded like was this judge approach. This is the gamer. They're desperate for. Desperate for revenue. This judge approached them. Um, it was transfer of behavior. Uh, it took place last weekend at Vancouver Regionals, which was like three weeks ago. This per- the, apparently the, the judge came up to some players who were transgender and uh, they had formed their own Pokemon TCG team known as Girl Power TCG. And the judge asked that they could go outside the vent hall so he could ask the group questions about the transgender community. And the person said that the judge initially began the conversation politely with questions about how judges could be more inclusive. Okay, okay. so wait, so the judge is trying to be more inclusive and the judge gets banned for life. Well, so because supposedly, supposedly the judge kept making, you know, saying they would be more inclusive and making comments. So I guess that during this and then they went out to the, the judge followed him to dinner later too. Kept saying that he could still tell they were born a boy or have boyish build or manly face. And he didn't listen to our views, but talked over us. Again, this is what they said happened, okay? There was no evidence of this. This is what they said happened. But based on their story, this person was fired, banned for life, got rid of. Now, but they're saying that that automatically is automatically true because they said it. And it probably it probably is for all we know. We don't know. It's automatically true because they said so. But this other kid, this kid is lying because, you know, the judge says. So when one judge says that it's not true or whatever, it's still true. But when another judge says it's true, it's still true. I, th- look, I, this, OK, this is a gamer. I just got to point this out again because I, I love dunking on the gamer. Um, this is the website that was going really hard in the pain against J.K. Rowling. And. Like there are so many damn ads on the site. We're trying to read this story. And if there are breaks in here, it's because every time we get to a paragraph, another ad pops up and start playing a freaking video in it. Um, well, I was going to take this part here. The event organizers and other judges were absolutely wonderful with how they handled everything. It was a clear sign that the vast majority of this community is loving, inclusive, and wants to treat people the right way. So basically what's going on, this happened like two weeks ago before this kid laughed. So they're being, they're overcorrecting. They're overcorrecting, but this is a child. They're overcorrecting yeah. because the child didn't give the, the certain judge, you know, straight up pronouns without like pausing and, 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 and nervously laughing. Look, this this loving community, <laughs> this loving community of tabletop, um, this is the same community that will ban you if you tweet the wrong thing. You will get banned from Gen Con. Um, they will ban you from tournaments if you're associated with the wrong people. You know, they deem they went after Ernie Gygax, the son of the creator of Dungeons and Dragons, because he made a doopsie doopsie on a live stream. It wasn't even malicious. And they dogpiled him for months. You know, I mean, I'm having a really hard time seeing this 
this inclusive, loving tabletop gaming community that everybody keeps speaking about. I'm just I'm just saying. Having a really hard well, time. Well, they said that the judge had pre-existing allegations already. And that could be. And it could that have been. Be and case. it could have been the case. But what I'm saying is, if you're, they automatically believe one side but not the other. And then beyond that, it's like they're clearly out there trying to, the, 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 the judges and the organization was clearly out there trying very hard to double down extra the other way to, to make just a small group of people feel very, very included. Yeah. Um, but then meanwhile, this child who turns out, if you read his uh, twit longer, kid sui- was suicidal. Okay. So he talks about what happened. Basically, what we've told you. Okay. And then he said, um, he's like, right like this. He has, I have zero issues with people having pronouns or how they choose to identify, express themselves. Same. I've never had issues with it and never will because at the end of the day, it's their choice and doesn't affect my life. I agree with you. I thought what the same thing. Um, as long as people are happy, I'm happy. Yep. Keep this in mind when reading, please. Back to the event. He's like, after they gave the response for the second time, the judge looked at me and said, okay, I want to check to be safe. I go by they, they had them, so don't be a, a jerk about it. And I thought they were saying in general, like the future or something. I had no clue that I upset them and had no intention to do so whatsoever. I thought nothing of it because to me, it was just a normal conversation. People have been going on stream. Um, basically it goes on. And then they said, um, he got to pick up by the matchups and we start shuffling for game two. And then I see a few judges walking over the stage. And they get on the stage and one starts talking to Alex. And Alex and I both are confused because no clue what's happening. At first I thought they must have had a deck list error or something. Yeah. And they they only talking to him. Then they told me to keep my headphones on during this, so I couldn't hear what they were saying to Alex. Then one of the judges puts a headset. Well, well, my competitor, who's going to have to compete against me, went along with it and now doesn't have to compete against me and gets to move up automatically. But I didn't get to hear anything. Yeah. I mean, you know, he kind of throws me under the bus on Twitter, too. Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then they went let, and then the one of the judges puts a headset on and he asked me what what was said to the judge when he asked my pronouns. And this is where I began to get a bit worried. And I wonder if I'd done something wrong. I answered the question, said, I said he him. And the judge asked me if there anything else I said, and I want to know what my tone was for the conversation. So the, the the fucking adult, right, ran to get the head judge to boot a child because they were offended that the child was nervous when you put them on the spot asking a child about their damn pronouns, and it made you feel bad. Let, let's rehash, shall we? The fucking adult got upset and offended because the child was nervous and laughed when they asked him for their fucking pronouns. And they got the, the child booted from a tournament. Adult presenting. Adult presenting. This person is not an adult. I mean, I can't think they would let a child be the judge. And they said that, then they said, uh, I laughed. At, he said, I saw anything possible thing I might have done is I, 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 but I might have been taken the wrong way was when I laughed a bit and told them I was just nervous. The judge told me to walk off stage and talk off stage. I was confused during this and even more confused when I see two more players walking on stage to take Alex in my spot. I walked behind the curtains by the stage and the head judge, I can't remember his name, I think it was Bobby, asked me exactly what was said. I explained what happened and the nervous laugh was because I was embarrassed and because because you were embarrassed because this child was embarrassed and was uncomfortable by the question. But that doesn't matter because the judge was uncomfortable, okay? Do you not see the hypocrisy here, okay? Um, and it's, a, it's very polite and calm, and I made sure to get my point, clearly get my point across. I made it extremely clear I had no intention whatsoever of harming or upsetting anyone. You know, because, you know, I, I have friends that, we know people that are non-binary, and sometimes people say, you know, their pro, their, you know, their other pronouns by accident, that they would go by they, them, and they would gender them, okay? I explained that I have absolutely nothing against people's pronouns, and I never have. There was no incentive I couldn't possibly have had, since, especially since I just re- recently earned my invite. Why would I lose that? The head judge seemed to understand, so it was a bit relieved. And then he pulls out the rule, the, the rule book on his phone and says, due to me violating their inclusivity policy and due to me oh, making someone feel unsafe and uncomfortable. Then, okay, here's my thing. Was the judge fired? Was the judge fired? Because the inclusivity policy says, due to making someone feel unsafe and uncomfortable, that they were removed. Okay, they were disqualified. Was the judge fired? Because the judge made the child uncomfortable and put the kid on the spot to begin with. Was the judge fired? No, I do not believe so. Because I'm like, wait a minute. If your inclusivity policy means that you can't make someone uncomfortable um, or they're, squal- they're they're gone, then anybody can claim they're uncomfortable. Oh, that guy's going to beat me. Oh, they made me feel uncomfortable. That yeah. girl's going to kick my ass. Well, she makes me feel uncomfortable. This is stupid. This it's is stupid. This is supposed to be competitive. This is supposed to be competitive. Yes. 
People are going to make you feel uncomfortable. So, yes, if you so. feel unsafe or uncomfortable, they're disqualified. So that judge should have been removed immediately yeah. because the judge made the child feel uncomfortable, which is why they laughed nervously to begin with. OK, OK. And then he's like, he's like, wait, what? So anyway, he talks about how, um, you know, they said no one was listening. He was. So I was confused. I tried to explain calmly what happened. He seemed like he was listening. I was stunned. I asked to, I was asked to sit down a chair to process what was, I asked to sit down a chair to process what was going on. I had a bit of hope left and said, is there any way I can appeal this? And I again said, I was really sorry. I was, I, if I upset someone that I had zero malicious intent, wasn't trying to. At this point, a message was very clear. I had no intention whatsoever to offend or hurt anyone. I was truly sorry if someone interpreted it wrong. And that's where it escalated. The head judge tells me that he was sorry and that it sucked, but I was disqualified due to the Pokemon's policy. Again, why was the judge not fired Fuck or removed? People. At this point, I'm at the verge of tears, but I try my best to keep my composure. I just couldn't understand what was happening. Again, a child. Okay, a child. Um, Was the judge not listening to anything I had just told him? Um, Was he trying to look at my side of the story at all? No! No, they aren't! Okay? And then he asked again if there's anything he could do. And he could talk to another judge or whatever. And all requests were refused. The head judge then tells me it was already done, and they had disqualified me. I asked, so you already disqualified me, even even, even though I told you what happened. So they disqualified him before they even talked to him, by the way it sounds. So he wasn't even allowed to give his side of the story because one judge said they were uncomfortable. I'm just like, I'm, I'm like someone, because someone interpreted it wrong. That's just it. Someone interprets it wrong. If you don't, you know, kowtow to every whim of certain people, then, then this is what happens. And I'm like, it's a mistake. Most non-binary people who use they, them pronouns understand if you mistakenly do that. Because at that time when he left, they never told him that they used they, them pronouns until afterwards. You just, no, this was about making a statement on a public stage and showing this kids what's what. This is about, you know, uh, yeah, that's that's why they do this. This is why, like, now you know, Jimmy, you didn't use my pronouns. We need to teach all you youngins about the pronouns. Everybody's got to have them stamped on their fucking foreheads. And, and they want to know why people are turning against them in droves. This behavior is why people are getting their back up against you, okay? Not because they're against you, you know, identifying how you want to identify. A lot of people don't really care. Like this kid, they're like, I don't care. It doesn't hurt me any. I'll be respectful of that. That's I have no problem with it. The problem is you're creating your own enemy. Well, anyway, he asked him, he said, um, the judge said, yeah, I know this sucks for everyone involved. I'm sorry we have to do this. I started bawling my eyes out. It was so unfair. I was extremely polite and calm through the entire thing. I thought I handled it very professionally. And the judges did not just did just not listen to me at all and disregard everything I said. Because the one judge said it was so it had to be true. And he goes, You didn't even listen to me at all. I feel helpless and wait, 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 wait. So he feels he feels uh uncomfortable. Then that judge should be fired too. He's violating his own policy. He just made this kid uncomfortable. So why is that judge not fired? Okay. See, here's the problem with a nebulous, you feel uncomfortable policy. Okay. Fire his ass too. He made the kid feel helpless. Okay. So then he goes down about this and he's talking about how he's never being treated so unbelievably fair. Um, he finally has got an invite. He worked really hard for it. He said, I, you know, this was ridiculous to me. I was very sympathetic for the judge and I had, I had upset and never meant to upset anyone. And so all the head judge cared about was that someone was upset and I caused it. I told him that I was also upset and he just ruined my entire trip and I wouldn't get over. Yes, for a long time. So that judge should have been fired and the head judge should have been fired too because you made him feel uncomfortable and upset. Why are you still there? That's the rule, right? You know, he told you he felt uncomfortable and upset. So why? You should have fired yourself on the spot. You hadn't read for a while. I, I just move away. I'm blowing people's eardrums out, but I'm pissed. Oh my God. I'm a mom and I'm just like, oh, hell no. Uh, so this kid, again, you, uh, with this situation, uh, there have been more based teenagers created because they're going to look at this situation. They're going to be like, holy shit, the pronoun police. Why do people here. hate us? Why do people not respect our pronouns? This, this is why. This is why. You did it to yourself. I hope that judge one has gotten gone and, 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 you know, knows that they themselves are causing the backlash. Good job. They said he wasn't even allowed in the venue anymore. He, I've never cried the way I cried that night. I told him I didn't even have service and I had no way to connect to anyone, I didn't have a key to my hotel room. I would had to walk to, so he had to do the walk of shame. He told me not to worry. He can call one of my friends over to help. I'm so unbelievably frustrated, upset, and mad. So he had to leave the venue completely. And then he and, and tell the judge, a child, that yeah, he didn't have child. a way to get into the hotel and everything else. And the judge was like, "Well, I'll I'll send somebody over. Too bad." A child again over a adult 
judge who was pissed about about something they misconstrued. While I'm still crying, the judge asked me to sign the match slip. I felt that he wasn't even acknowledging me and that he was just happy the problem was dealt with. I just told him he'd ruined so much for me and taken so much money and hard work and all he cared about was I signed the match slip. I said, give me a second because I was shattered and in tears and crying like I've never cried before. Then a minute later, he asked me, are you refusing to sign the match slip, making the situation even worse than it was somehow? I signed the match slip and keep crying. The head judge leaves and I haven't talked to him since. I sat there for another good 10 minutes crying, waiting for one of my friends to come and meet me. Where uh, was the kid's parents? I don't know. I guess the teenage probably some I don't know. Probably something else. Holy shit! Um, yeah, this is this is. Then really- he talks about how he has been depressed and extremely suicidal, and has been in therapy for years and medic years of medication. Okay, so he's got himself stabilized, and then so this is a, not only a child, but a child with uh, mental health issues. Okay, but you don't have, uh, mental health on the issues only matter for the people that have pronouns. Okay. Um, and then he said, so he was sitting down, crying with relief. He said, I'm going to kill myself and started walking on the stage. A staff member who had been watching me followed me outside the venue and had to escort me until I was upstairs and sat down. I just sat there and shook. And then he asked to cut the wristband off. So the adult walks him to his room so he can cut the wristband off so he can't go back in the venue. That's what the adults did here. Walk of fucking shame. They, they, they shame this kid on top of everything else. He didn't do anything wrong. I, I'm, I'm sorry. So process this. This is where we're at with things right now. But this child's shocked, traumatized, ready to kill himself. I would think that qualifies for being, you know, a feeling like they were um, uncomfortable and upset. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't this qualify for being upset and uncomfortable? Why are the adult judges not fired? The tabletop scene, I, I got to tell you, I did not realize it was as fucking weird as it is until I started covering the Dungeons and Dragons situation. And then I started looking into Magic the Gathering. I started looking into uh, these conventions. And then I saw it happen with Ernie Gygax. I'm like, holy shit, this whole scene is just fucking corrupt to its core. Like it is. There are people get banned from Gen Con for literally nothing. And, and this kid, a kid, a kid is being kicked out of a Pokemon tournament for uh not even misgendering somebody or whatever, but laughing about being asked pronouns because this is a really fucking Because oh, they were uncomfortable. It's a fucking weird question to ask out of the blue. I mean, right? if, if being uncomfortable was grounds to, to to remove somebody, the fact that the person asked him that and he felt uncomfortable and having to answer the question should have got the judge fired before the kid even responded. No, but they're always going to side with the pronoun. But I'm just saying, it says if you're uncomfortable, that's you, that you're, you're, you're disqualified or removed. That they made this kid uncomfortable... Uh, why weren't they removed? The Pokemon. I mean, if true, I I I tend to think it probably. Well, is. the fact that all the outlets are running with it, yeah. I would I think. I mean, the fact that Deserto even's like, yeah, backing he's this like, kid up. He's is. like, um, I just wanted to be over. We've done everything. He thought it ran into the middle of the road. My dream of winning a regional, my own deck that I put so much light time and work into, was just taken from me. I missed school, lost hundreds of dollars, and travel across the country for what? Nothing. It was all for nothing. I'm being completely honest with everyone when I say I've never been more upset in my entire life. Oh, he admits he's upset. Wait, well, wait a minute, Pokemon. You upset this person. He felt upset and uncomfortable. Um, Maybe you should just ban the tournaments altogether. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's like you have this rule, but it's a very nebulous rule that seems to be unevenly enforced. Now, if the kid had said, like, what the fuck are you asking me that for? You know, or like, or, laugh, like, you know, laugh like, hysterically, what? like, you know, pronoun stupid. police, I'm not something, giving like it to you. something like that. Yeah. He did what he was asked. He thought, he probably thought it was freaking weird to ask, and he got blindsided with it, because why would you think somebody's going to ask you that in the middle of a match, you know? Um, and I'm sorry to get so upset and yell, but I mean, I, I, I can't help it. I, I, I cannot stand injustice for one. And as a mom, and uh, I'm a teacher, too. I just think this is absolute bullshit. I mean, an adult shouldn't be asking a child that in the first place. And then beyond that, because um, the child's going to be uncomfortable. I mean, some children, not, not, so, not so much. They're like, they're happy to tell you. A lot of people on, are on Twitter have more than happy to tell you the pronouns. <laughs> like I said, they wear, t- they should wear pins asking about the pronouns because that's what they lead with for everything. And that's okay. That's who they are. That's who they are. And I try to respect that. But like this person put this kid on the spot. The kid answered, but felt couldn't. They was really nervous. Couldn't think. Um, was like, um, um, like you know, huh? You know, what's the other word? His. And because they did that, this this judge, the adult, said they were uncomfortable. They were uncomfortable. So this person got a child kicked out of a tournament because they didn't. They 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 didn't even they didn't even misgender the judge. They didn't even misgender the judge because they didn't answer the question about their own pronouns in a way the judge liked. 
So they didn't misgender anyone. They didn't mock anyone. They were answering a question about their own pronouns, and the judge didn't like the way they answered the question about their own personal pronouns. So this is coming from Fox News. Uh, They said, Pokemon tournament judge named Will Post responded to the story on Twitter, appearing to agree with the decision to disqualify Makani Tran. Uh, Whether you agree or disagree with a ruling, a Pokemon judge should not have to worry about people coming to the workplace over a call they're involved in a Pokemon tournament. If you think doxing people over judge calls is the right play, go home and rethink your life. I don't agree with I don't have dox that I d- you know, but the flip side is like I'm like you kind of sort of at that point you are a public official, you know, your public persona, you're on a stream, and you made a really shitty call, and everybody's running. With, this isn't just like Fox News dog. You done fucked up. Big I mean, time. this is freaking Desertos running with if it. The other judge you got rid of was actually out there making people targeting transgender people, making them uncomfortable. Yes. You got rid of them. I would agree with you. Yes. I mean, they're out there. They were out there seeking it out, targeting them, making them uncomfortable. By all means, then the judge should have been gone because if that's true, because um, that would be not that would be unacceptable. And these are potential you know, players and guests and everything else that that I would give you, but I will not give you this one. No. And even if the kid laughed at the question, even if the kid made fun of the question, That's okay? A stupid question. You asked ask the kid his tournament. pronouns <laughs> I'm sorry. that had no bearing on him being nope. part of this tournament. But because one judge was personally offended by, I'm going to show that little shit, and then went and got him kicked off. Literally kicked off a game that he was going to play. Yeah. Because, and of course the other kid is going to go along with it because he gets to, he gets to move up. This boy. Did he laugh? Yeah, he probably said, yeah, he laughed. Well, yeah, he laughed. You know, I see people laugh hysterically about something because they're upset or nervous and not because they think something's funny and inappropriate times. And it's not because they're being jerks. They legitimately, and if this person already has issues um, with depression, anxiety, and things like that, then that's a normal response from somebody who might have already have issues. So this child has had issues pre- previously, has been in therapy on medication by their own account, okay? And then this judge upset them mentally to the place that they you know, they, they laughed because they were, they froze up. They were like, oh crap, I'm nervous. And there was no grace given to this child at all. But they, they, but the judge is mad because the judge thinks that he was personally, I'm sorry, they, them, I don't know, it could have been a woman, were personally offended. Were personally offended because the person didn't, didn't answer their pronoun question in a way that they felt they should. It, they didn't misgender them, but they didn't answer the question that the way the judge felt was appropriate for the, for them to identify themselves. I mean, fuck you. Anyway, the kids got to go fund me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so mad. I don't usually get this angry, but this is just so unfair. I mean, it, of course, if true, if true, but I think it sounds I, like it is given all the people running yeah, with it. Yeah, a lot of, I mean, we kind of debated about covering it at first. I'm like, no, there are a lot of media outlets that normally would agree with the pronoun police. And they're even like, yeah, this was a, ba- a bad call. And this is kid, a bad call. The kid isn't even the one who did the GoFundMe. Somebody else did. Yeah. And they said, I've known this kid for several years. He has always been inclusive and respectful part of the community in Utah. I don't believe he would ever intentionally offend or attempt to harm anyone. That being said, there was a misunderstanding that led him to be wrongfully disqualified from regional tournament. Traveling is not cheap. Between flights, food, hotel, and the event itself, it adds up quickly. Here's the side of the story. Um... Yeah, but yeah, look, look at you can see clearly is a hateful person who is not inclusive of anyone. Clearly. Yeah. I, I I just I mean this is this is just reached peak idiocy, guys. Like I said, you know, somebody corrects you politely, like, hey, actually I don't, you know, whatever. And that and they're not douchebags, but whatever. That's that's fine. But um, you know, this is a purity test. This kid I mean an I, adult. I, I hate to say it, but what they're doing is they're training these kids. If they're going to be part of the inclusive, loving tabletop community, they're basically telling them, like, you need to you need to bow before the pronoun. But the kid didn't even don't. misgender anyone. No, it wasn't. No, like I he said, I, answering the question. I can't even see it if he was being deliberately belligerent and like pronouns. Fuck you. Yeah. You know, if he said that, I'd be yeah. like, wait, whoa, dude, you know, whatever. I probably would say it, but I don't play Pokemon. So, um, but yeah, so I, I mean, this is, this is just colossal bullshit. This does not shock me at all. I should be shocked, but I have covered enough with the, uh, the modern tabletop gaming scene to know that this is actually, unfortunately, very normal. This is how this scene works now. I, I mean, I've seen so many people get banned from Gen Con for literally nothing, just minor infractions or, a, a, you know, I've seen entire companies Tabletop gaming companies get attacked on Twitter because one person tweeted something. Hell, it was, um, uh, I can't remember, it was uh, uh, Troll Lord Games. Troll Lord Games. And they just started attacking them again 
because they said, hey, our games are apolitical. We believe everybody should play and we should leave politics at the door. That was a very reasonable take. And they have been attacked. It's a non-exclusionary non- take. Yeah. And they've been attacked nonstop on Twitter by these kinds of people. Because you know, you need to, we need to exclude you as we're being non-exclusionary. We're being open. Yeah. You, don't be excluding us in gatekeeping as we're gatekeeping all of you. And that's the problem. Yeah. But again, a child got removed from a tournament. And then the one person took him to his room because he said he was suicidal to cut his wristband off. Yeah, not, hey, hey, kid, how you doing? You right, know, do right. Do you want me to call your parents? Do you mean, no. Right, like, no. Oh, give me that wristband so you don't accidentally sneak back into the mm-hmm. tournament. You Because a judge yeah. got mad that he laughed when asked about, he would an, not even, he started out, oh, he, him, because he couldn't remember the last word, his. A kid explained repeatedly, hey, I didn't mean any offense. I was just nervous. I was caught off guard. You know, some people are genuinely uncomfortable being asked that. And then um, the judge, because the judge felt bad because they, they, they identified as they, them, uh, went and got the child removed from a tournament. Let that sink in. This is where we're at, guys. Um, Again, grow the fuck up. Going to wrap it up? Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.